Oh, hey guys, here I am to talk about the Fuji X-T30. Uh, this is a really tiny camera, and I think it's been a great offer from Fuji. Hello everybody, the X-T30 has the same sensor as the X-T3, so it has a 26.1 megapixel CMOS sensor. It is actually a crop sensor, saying that it's a really nice looking image and it's great quality. The X-T30 has a, a variety of uh, video options, so it's a down sampled 6K to 4K and that's an 8-bit internal recording that also has F-Log but also you can use the color profiles that Fuji give you, so there's a Turner and a few other film simulations. Now, if you wanted to use uh, an external recorder, you can actually record at 422 10-bit external 4K, so that's a great option as well. In 1080, you can shoot at 120, 60, 24. So there's a few options there, and it has a bit rate of 200 megabits a second, 150. The ISO on the X-T30, the native ISO is 160 ISO to 12,800 ISO. There is the extended version, so you can go down to 80 and an ISO above 12,800 that you'll never want to go to. X-T30 will shoot eight frames a second to continuous, uh, and then you can put it into the crop mode and you can shoot 30 frames a second. The only problem with 30 frames a second is it does crop in on the image, on the sensor, and if you shoot raw, you'll only get 22 frames out of it before the buffer fills up. But if you put it into just the fine JPEG, I believe you'll get 30 frames a second continuously. So it really depends what you want to do there. The autofocus on the X-T30 is really good. It has face detect and eye detect. I had a little bit of an issue because the the way you turn which mode you want is on the front of the body and I flicked that with my finger and couldn't work out why I couldn't put it in an autofocus. Anyway, I worked that out and here we are. The autofocus runs across the entire sensor. So you get 99% focus coverage. So you shouldn't lose anyone anywhere in the frame and that should just follow them around. I found the autofocus to be very good. I haven't had a problem with it. And I think that it's fantastic that you can autofocus in video because I came from the Canon 5D Mark III that had only manual in video. So this is a world of difference for me. So this camera only has a single SD card slot and it's accessed through the battery. Now, a couple of downfalls to that is that you can't change cards out while it's on, say, a gimbal or um, tripod. So if you're shooting with this camera and your card fills up, you have to take it off the tripod, off the gimbal, take the card out, change it out, that sort of thing. If you were using an external recorder, that wouldn't be an issue because it records to the external. Um, so really, it just really depends what you're looking to do with this camera. But I think most people would just be happy with a single card slot. I have like a 128 gig card in there. And before I go out on a long shoot, I just format it and make sure it's empty. Battery life on the X-T30. Uh, the battery is really little. Um, it rates that it has 380 shots. So I've never pushed it to its full 380 shots, but uh, you can also charge the camera remotely. So 
on the go. So if you uh, have a, a power bank, you can just plug in by USB-C and charge on the go. So you don't have to take the battery out to charge. There are also a lot of LCD options. So you can make it so it's LCD only, viewfinder only, and you can really customize what you're after. If you want to plug a microphone into this camera, you're going to have to use an adapter. So the XT30 being such a small body, it only has a 2.5mm audio in. So you have to use a 2.5 to a 3.5 adapter. The benefit of the XT30 and the XT3, I believe, is that you have the option to have two mic settings, so an internal mic setting and an external mic setting. Uh, the camera also has Bluetooth connectivity and Wi-Fi, so you can actually get your images off the camera straight to your phone if that's something you want to do. I personally don't use that feature, I turn that off because I'm trying to save battery. So this whole review or thoughts were recorded on the X-T30 using the 18-55 to kit lens, except if the camera was in the frame, then it was shot on a Canon 5D. There you go, that's my thoughts on the Fujifilm X-T30. It's a new addition to my camera bag and I'm really happy with it.